Good evening, my friends, and welcome to evening prayer for this second Wednesday in this season of Advent. We hope that uh, you can find a few minutes of peace and refreshment uh, here as we uh, rest for a few moments in silence and hear God's word for us tonight. So we begin with song. Give peace to every heart, give peace to every heart, give To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, to you, my God. My God, I trust you. Let me not be disappointed. Do not let my enemies triumph. Those who hope in you shall not be disappointed, but only those who wantonly break faith. Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. In you I hope all the day long, because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercy, Lord, and the love you have shown from of old. Do not remember the sins of years past. In your love, remember me. The Lord is good and upright, showing the path to those who stray, guiding the humble in the right path, and teaching the way to the poor. A reading from 1 Thessalonians. Paul wrote, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. For meditation tonight, a passage from a reading entitled The Divine Dawning, this by the theologian Karl Rahner. 
Every year we celebrate the holy season of Advent, O God. Every year we pray those beautiful prayers of longing and waiting and sing those lovely songs of hope and promise. Every year we roll up all our needs and yearnings and faithful expectation into one word, come. And yet what a strange prayer this is. After all, you have already come and pitched your tent among us. You have already shared our life with its little joys, its long days of tedious routine, its bitter end. Could we invite you to anything more than this with our come? Could you approach any nearer to us than you did when you became the Son of Man, when you adopted our ordinary little ways so thoroughly that it's almost hard for us to distinguish you from the rest of our fellow men. In spite of all this, we still pray, come. And this word issues as much from the depth of our hearts as it did long ago from the hearts of our forefathers, the kings and prophets who saw your day still far off in the distance and fervently blessed its coming. Is it true, then, that we only celebrate the season? Or is it still really Advent? And here, a conclusion of this passage. Slowly a light is beginning to dawn. I've begun to understand something I have known for a long time. You are still in the process of your coming. Your appearance in the form of a slave was only the beginning of your coming, a beginning in which you chose to redeem men by embracing the very slavery from which you were freeing them. And you can really achieve your purpose in this paradoxical way because the paths that you tread have a real ending. The narrow passes which you enter soon open out into broad liberty. The cross that you carry inevitably becomes a brilliant banner of triumph. It is said that you will come again, and this is true. But the word again is misleading. It won't really be another coming, because you have never really gone away. In the human existence that you made your own for all eternity, you have never left us. But still, you will come again, because the fact that you have already come must continue to be revealed ever more clearly. It will become progressively more manifest to the world that the heart of all things is already transformed because you have taken them all to your heart. Behold, you come, and your coming is neither past nor future, but the present, which has only to reach its fulfillment. Now it is still the one single hour of your advent, at the end of which we too shall have found out that you have really come. O God who is to come, grant me the grace to live now in the hour of your advent in such a way that I may merit to live in you forever in the blissful hour of your eternity. Peace.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints. Let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. In the Lord I Do not be afraid, live on.